Kicking off this week's episode, we head to Sprague Field, where boys lacrosse would still be dealing with key injuries to their starting roster, with goalie Tim Rahill and senior co-captain attack Carrie Line both sidelined. But Wellesley would stand their ground on Friday in a solid matchup with the Braintree Wants. Aggressive on the attack here in the first quarter, Raiders jump out to an early 2-0 lead with scores by David Jennings and Grant Kosikas. Later in the same quarter, Braintree would tie it up though here at 3-3 when Brendan McGuire in the crease buries the feed from Tim Miller. But with only one second left on the clock, Griffin Morgan's laser shot finds all net, giving Wellesley a 4-3 edge going into the second frame. Coming out of a tight 6-5 halftime lead, Wellesley looks to pull away from the Womps. And Crowder Huff's quick stick goal helps spark a key Raiders run here in the second half. And as the Raiders keep scoring, Griffin Morgan's third goal on the day here would propel Wellesley to an even more commanding 10-5 lead, as a key offensive third quarter would be all the Raiders needed to pull out a hard-earned gritty win. Fourth and final frame comes and goes here with only one more score by the Womps coming from Johnny Cleggett. And the final whistle blows and the Raiders are the ones on top. 11-6 is the final over Braintree as Wellesley goes to 6-6 six six on the season. Already punching in two wins in their first three games of the season, girls softball had a key Hergett division matchup with the Rebels of Walpole on Saturday afternoon. Top first, Walpole strikes first, with runners on second and third, Maddie Osa's force out would drive in the first run of the game, giving Rebels an early 1-0 advantage. But that lead would not last very long, as Wellesley bats for the first time here in the bottom first, and quickly taking advantage of starting pitcher Julia Adams' control problems, its bases loaded with Raiders and only one up. Emily Dudek grounds it to first base. The throw is to the plate, but it's not in time to get the runner. Everybody's safe, and it's now 1-1. Patience at the plate by Sammy Tong walks in yet another run, and Wellesley takes the lead for the first time, 2-1. To Top of the third, confusion on the bases by Wellesley allows the Walpole runner to slide in safely to third. Nat Leiden would then connect deep to center on a clutch RBI stand-up triple, and for the moment, we're tied up at 2-2. Rebels then retake the lead on a run-scoring bloop single by Maddie Oser. 3-2 Walpole. To the bottom of that third inning, though, Wellesley down by one. The Raiders rally here again with the bases loaded, forcing Walpole to bring in new pitcher Melissa Cochran. Elizabeth Dew at the plate for Wellesley welcomes Cochran to the game with a tie-breaking single that drives in two more Raiders, and it's 4-3 Wellesley. Then a double steal here in the inning works as Dew slides in just ahead of the tag. Sammy Tong crosses the plate safely. And a clutch three-run bottom third for Wellesley gives them a 5-3 advantage over Walpole. Solid defense on the diamond by the Raiders and some outstanding pitching once again by sophomore Julia Pearl helps silence Walpole's bats the rest of the way. And the Raiders, down by three runs early in the game, fight hard for the comeback and make it a final here at Lee Field. Wellesley 5, Walpole 3. Well, that does it for this week's episode of Raiders Sports Block. As always, thanks for watching. Wellesley Public Media gets you the coverage you need to catch up on all Raiders highlights. Check us out on demand at wellesleymedia.org, our YouTube channel under Wellesley Media Corporation, and right here on Comcast 9 and Verizon 39.